So I'm wanting to show you just how to retrieve important data for your least squares equation in your residual analysis uh, through your Casio FX82 calculator. So we're looking at um, your textbook here and we're going to just have a look at finding the mean of the x, the mean of the y, the standard deviation of the x and the standard deviation of the y, your Pearson's correlation coefficient values uh, to start off with and then we can do a couple more over the page. So we're going to look at this set of data here. So let's um, set up our, our mode into stat mode and uh, we're going with a linear equation so it's mode 2 and we will just need to enter the data into your calculator. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then let's enter in our y values. We've got 7, 12, 29, 45, 54, 57, 60 and 77. Okay, now we just recall that we need to uh, Press AC, we've put all our data in, so we press AC and then we can just go into our retrieve our stat mode. So, so if we want to retrieve stats, um, key log's not being nice for me, but I can worry about that later. Um, we're just going to go shift one and uh, first of all, we want to get a bunch of the variable data out. So we should be able to get the these out of uh, number four. So if we go mode 4, you can see here we've got the number of scores. Well, that'll be there. Uh, the mean of the X values, so well, that's the mean of that column. The mean of the Y, that's that one. Now the standard deviation of the X, so that should be that one. And the standard deviation of the Y. So let's retrieve a few of these. So um, I sh maybe I should have just pressed them straight away. So the mean of the X values, 4.5. That's nice. Okay, shift one, back to four. Uh, that's the standard deviation of the X, so let's just press that and see. 2.449, yeah, that's matching up nicely. Shift one, four again. Now, that's the mean of the Y values. 42.625, that's nice. Shift one, four and the standard deviation of the y values 24.547 yeah that works nicely we'll just pop over the page and uh, we can also retrieve our, co our correlation coefficient we can also get our a value and our b value too and this is where we go to shift one and we go to our regression so we First of all, retrieve uh, the correlation coefficient, 0.978, yeah, that will work. And let's go shift one, and then we'll go to five. Um, let's retrieve our B first of all, so that's that one. 9.78, uh, rounded off there, yep. And uh, shift one, uh, five, and we'll go to one. And uh, negative, uh, 1.46 we're saying negative 1.5 here to one decimal place okay so that's pretty good